Here we are at the top of the week where we get our first glimpse into the energies for this week for each of the zodiac signs. This is the romantic tarot. Guys, you know how this works. We start with Scorpio, we move to Sagittarius, and we go all the way through the zodiac till we finish at Libra. Last but not least, of course, this is a great video for cross-watching. You'll get each of the individual signs and you'll also be able to take a peek into maybe your loved one um, and what they're going through. If you're curious about if the person that you're with is for you, you might want to purchase the extended video, which is who is coming towards you. That link is below. It could also confirm and give you insights into the status of your current lover, what they feel, how they're thinking, and what motivates them. That is in the extended. The link is below in the description box and in the comment section for those of you using mobile. It's a little bit easier to access there. So let's get right into it. You will see me. Oh, if you are just finding the channel, my name is Michelle. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Um, I encourage conversation, so please do leave comments below. I try to read every single one of them and answer where I can. Also, I do a daily tarot card reading every uh, Monday through Friday on Instagram, so follow me over there and you can be part of that daily discussion as well. Or you follow me on Snapchat and you'll get the daily one pick of cards per day um, and a few other silly things that I do on Snapchat as well. You can find me all over, especially here and on Vimeo. So thank you so much for supporting Born Without Boundaries. Like this video if you really, really do uh, want to support the channel and subscribe, please. Let's help the channel grow. Thank you so much to everybody who always returns, comments, and makes this channel Basically, um, what I what I wanted when I started when I what I wanted when I started the channel, which was uh, a platform for us to talk to each other, help each other heal, help each other grow, and help each other awaken. So let's get right into the reading. I've cleansed the cards and I've already meditated on them. We're going to start with what romantically is coming toward each of the twelve zodiac signs, starting at the top with Scorpio. Shouting out to you guys because you always show up first and foremost with every, every single week with the most views and I appreciate it. But um, Capricorn's close on your tail. So I'm <laughs> just, just saying, just like a little healthy competition. No, but Scorpios and Capricorns and all of you, I really, really appreciate it. So um, I will, you will see me writing down the timestamps because I have to keep track of them. <laughs> Scorpio, we're going to start you here at 2.46. Remember this week there will also be a live, um, no, 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 no. There will also be a live full moon in Virgo reading this coming Friday. Be prepared. Be there or be square. Scorpio, let me change your time. I want to make it more accurate for you. Okay. Scorpio, Let's see what cards came out for you. Bring love into the situation. <sighs> this is truth. This is um, this is new moon in Aquarius. So this is all about thinking about more than your own desires, more than you or your base needs this is thinking about the big picture and what's best for the both of you now this energy and all of these energies can always be flipped and reversed as well but when you have aquarian energy it really is about the big picture and doing what's best for others um humanitarian energy um um and thinking outside of the box so it could also be urging you to try things that are different Mm, see, I know because I just heard it. Scorpio, you like to try things that are different when it comes to the boudoir. But this would be conversation, communication, and trying to comprehend and understand what your partner is going through. Now, because you guys are such a psychic sign, um, that should be easy for you, but sometimes it's not. Especially since being so emotional, sometimes we shut down. As a water sign myself, we get lost in our own emotions. And even sometimes 
being that psychic empathic energy we project our feelings onto others which may not be the case so as we go closer to this new uh, full moon in virgo we're going to have to separate all of those things and make sure that we compartmentalize to see what to, to help us prioritize prioritize to see what is most important and what we can lay to the waste or what's getting in our way now this energy is definitely about cleansing and about healing but it's also about about opening up with each other and showing and demonstrating that you actually care that could be with words definitely words are very powerful especially as we start to wind down the mercury retrograde i think we go direct on march 7th or 8th but essentially what this energy is saying is something is coming out something is going to be said something is going to be revealed about somebody's true feelings for you now this is a very loving honest and purifying energy so whatever the truth comes out whatever truth comes out whatever is spoken or said or revealed to you is going to be something that helps you it's going to be something that adds to your long-term happiness it may not be short term may not be what you want to hear but overall there is going to be a little bit of a relief involved scorpio so that you know and once you know and once it's all out no more games can be played and you can continue and you can move in the truth instead of deception and darkness um bring love into the situation this is just such really I think powerful energy it could also be telling me that this is new love coming in for you for those of you who are running single and have been single for quite some time this is an energy that is hopeful and potential for new romance coming in let's look at the next card be willing to express love express love to receive love so this is definitely virgo energy this is the energy of a nurturer of a healer of somebody who likes to communicate somebody who's been admiring you even though you're very different from two different worlds but somebody who wants to nurture a feeling and energy of nurturing and speaking and saying and admiration so when you see that person that you really dig don't be afraid to show them and demonstrate and let them know that you're interested because this coming week that could really really help you and go the way that you want it to go it could also mean that finally you've spotted them you've seen them this person that you've been sort of dreaming and imagining for a long time coming into your life seeing them and knowing that's the one there i go and now what do i do about it it's not easy for us water signs to make the first move a lot of times we need that person to make the first move toward us but the first move doesn't have to be hey i really like you like like you know like exposing our whole selves no it could just be a smile from across the bar it could just be a like on somebody's video it could just be uh laughing out loud and not holding back how enthusiastic you are for things that they do you don't have to reveal everything but you do have to show just enough or somebody might be showing you just enough that they really do have those extra special feelings and that you aren't just anybody to them so that's something you could actually expect coming towards you for this coming week now who is coming towards you and who is this person that's a good question and that link is in the description box below hopefully i will see you guys over there all right scorpio sagittarius sagittarius hmm. don't let pride get in your way full moon and leo let go and release all of those things and those preconceived notions sagittarius that you have in your head about the way that things are supposed to go expectations that you have for the person because expectations are really just imagined attachments and what are we really being attached to so, like it's almost like having a conversation with yourself and then expecting somebody else to understand or know that the conversation happened that's not the case you could be dealing with a leo a very fiery energy a very confident energy you could be dealing with an extremely stubborn partner all of that information describing your partner will be in the extended who's coming towards you this energy in general just means that there will be a conflict of personality a conflict of ego some sort of strain or push against each other now if you use it correctly this could really amp up 
how you guys behave in the bedroom toward each other, if you argue the right way, it could lead to some really passionate making up. But generally speaking, there is going to have to be a give and take because if these two egos keep clashing, then the relationship isn't going to go so well. Don't let pride get in your way. If you like somebody, tell them. If you don't like somebody, tell them. Something here is, is about a decision that you've made beforehand based on saving face or um, not wanting to give up because uh, you put so much work in or some sort of energy like that that just doesn't make much sense. Happiness is that internal gauge, Sagittarius, that tells us if we're, if we're making choices that are aligned with our true path, our soul's journey. Uh, if we are not happy and we are forcing, forcing something, then guess what? There is, we need to get that gauge back to that happiness beat. You know, that boop, boop, boop. This is where you belong. This is a sense of you don't belong where you are. So what do you have to do to get yourself back there emotionally, internally? I'm not saying you're going to go through a breakup. What about singles? For those of you who aren't even in a relationship, don't let pride get in your way. Make the first move, talk to somebody and be a little bit vulnerable and don't expect, um, don't expect somebody to like, don't, don't expect whatever it is that normally you expect. Like maybe you normally expect people to just look right past you, look right through you, not even notice you. Don't expect that because especially with this, this energy right here at Leo always gets noticed. And Sagittarius, you usually do too. Or don't expect people to notice you because you might have somebody who's extremely shy. Don't look over that person who's extremely shy. Don't do it because they could be that perfect person for you. Whatever you are inclined to expect, try to get rid of it and toss it away. Clear your mind from all kinds of expectations so that you're open to the fullest potential for the energy coming at you this week. Spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. There could be some sort of disappointment happening here where the two of you thought you were going to get together. You thought you were going to be able to spend time together. You thought you were meeting somebody. This could be energy of a canceled date. This could be the energy of um, um, a date that didn't go as planned. This could be the energy of, you know, expecting a present or a gift when you didn't get it. It's it's an energy of putting your expectations before the actual experience. So the actual experience is diminished by what you had expected. This is a prideful expectation. This is an egotistically, egotistically driven expectation. So you could very well be dealing with somebody. Oh, sorry. I just got a cramp in my arm. You could very well be dealing with somebody who... Um, <sighs> You, you could be going on a date with somebody who's extremely egotistical and has a lot of expectations and maybe looks across the table from you and says, you're paying, right? Kind of energy that there will be some sort of egotistical clash this coming week that actually diminishes the time that you spend together. Mm, don't let pride get in your way and spend quality time together. Also, this is telling me... Um, if you guys have fought, if you guys have been in a quarrel, um, you have not been seeing eye to eye. It is more important with this kind of energy to listen, open up your heart and be willing to apologize and forgive and compromise because if you don't, it could lead to energy that makes things really worse and that help, like, like does deeper damage. Then it started out as this is an energy of a small thing, a small thing that could become a big thing if you focus only on pride. Pride could really let a small thing become something that runs out of control and actually ends up separating the two of you instead of bringing the two of you closer together. Or it could, like, it's almost like the energy of, no, I'm not going to, like, you had plans this weekend and no, I'm not going to talk to them because you know, they pissed me off the other day. And so we're not going to talk and you end up missing a beautiful night just because of your pride, because you stood by yourself instead of standing by your partner or 
um, being too prideful, not admitting, you know, not admitting that you don't like how you feel in your body or you don't like how you feel in your clothes. So instead you stay in instead of going out and just loving yourself for who you are and having a good time, you could be meeting the love of your life this week. Um, if you don't keep yourself in and wrapped up in, in and of yourself. So Sagittarius, if you are, if you are curious about who's coming towards you, click the link below. We'll go into the extended. I'll see you over there. All right, Capricorn, let's go into your reading. Okay, Capricorn, the energies that are waiting for you this coming week, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius, what? This is you taking aim. This is you getting, having somebody in your sights or you opening up and like broadening and expanding your target. You could be going back online, dating sites, matchmakers, stuff like that. What this means is that you are expanding your target. You're opening it up. You're opening yourself up to new experiences. Even if you are with somebody for 25 years, this is you allowing yourself to broaden your target space, like broaden the actual target so that what makes you happy or the fun that you can have, you might be trying new things, doing new things, allowing yourself to not work so hard at just this one tiny thing and instead making that bullseye bigger to expand the potential for your happiness. I saw 555 running across the bottom of the screen which is telling me that there's going to be a major shift and change and somewhere where you were felt, felt like you were failing, suddenly there's going to be a major breakthrough and a major push. So somebody could also be taking aim at you this week. Either way, Cupid's arrow is flying and you're the target it's aimed at or whoever you're aiming it at. Believe me when I say this is really lucky and romantic energy, especially for Capricorn singles who are looking for new love to come into their life. New, you better stop. I mean, sit back and down. What Capricorn? What I just say, this is a great energy for new love in your life. And then with these two here, you're getting options. You're getting some exceptional options. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Understand that that could mean that you'll be meeting somebody at work. You'll be meeting somebody on an interview. You'll be meeting somebody re related somehow to the work that you do. Anyway, you can meet them anywhere. It could be in the bar after you're, you're at work with your colleagues and you go out for a drink and there they are. Either way, there's new love and wishes coming true coming into your life with this energy. And it could very well be because you opened yourself up and you're like, yeah, sure, I'll try something new. Why not? And then bada bing, bada boom, who walks in but a person that you thought you'd only have in your dreams. This is definitely the energy of dreams come true. Understand that this is not just for singles. This is energy for couples too, Capricorn. This is an energy of refreshing your love, new opportunities, new, new things coming in your way. In other words, your, maybe your spouse or even you opening yourselves up to a romantic weekend, doing something together, trying something together that you never did before, which could lead to sensuality in the bedroom. And I got that reading for, um, um, who is it? There's a lot of sensuality in the bedroom. Anyway, it could have something to do with Mars's placement in Capricorn, getting stuff done and getting revved up. Either way, bottom line is... There's this energy to try new things, be open-minded, be experimental. There's a lot of um, higher thought. Aquarian energy and Sagittarius energy, both, both very broad-minded and aerial view perspective energies for you. So in terms of love and romance, keep your mind open. Keep your mind open. Keep your options open. Just say yes, and you're going to have an exceptional time and welcome in some really beautiful energy. If you're curious about the person that you'll be dealing with or who might be coming towards you, please do click that extended below. I'll see you over there. <clears throat> All right. We move on to ooh, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's see what energies are for you. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. Do you see deep down inside there? I always see Santa Claus. Like there's his head and his little elf hat. 
and he's delivering a package and there's his there's his like back his sack and he's like bent over putting presents under the tree or something there's this energy of um how badly do you want it? How hard are you going to work for it, Aquarius? There's also an energy of maybe somebody doesn't know just how much you love them. Maybe they're in, it's in question, like they're not sure, they're not certain. There's a little bit of an ambiguity around your commitment to each other or even if you're interested in each other. Maybe they don't know because you haven't let, haven't let them in enough. Um, something is going to test you you with love and romance it could very well be being tempted to be lured out of your relationship by somebody who's ex exceptionally appealing somebody coming in that turns your head away from the person that you've wanted to be with for quite some time or something about the person that you're interested in that suddenly makes you unsure that you're inter as interested as you were um, it could also be somebody coming into your life that is so appealing and so distracting that they end up forcing you to question your commitment to being single or question your commitment to the job or whatever it is that you're trying to build because you're finding this person so distracting and you're finding it hard to pay attention to what normally was so easy for you. You can't lose yourself in your work. You can't lose yourself in your goals anymore because now there's somebody who keeps drawing your attention back to them. So any one of those energies could be a good interpretation for this card. Love endures seven, energy of seven. So that is the energy of creation and it's the energy of partners sticking together through thick and thin. So what this tells me is more of a partnership more of a partnership reading and if you're you want to question and if you're wondering about your partner and how how they're being affected emotionally um what they're going through that's in the who's coming towards you the link is below um what this is telling me is the two of you are going to get through this but there is something that is going to be then outside that is making things very difficult for the two of you in general or your love affair in general it could have to deal with separation both of these cards indicate travelers, which means Aquarius that you and your significant other are going on a, on a long distance relationship, not in a long distance relationship where one of you is traveling. You'll be missing each other. Will you stay committed when your partner isn't in the room? This could be a little bit of a weary, edgy, especially if things were being tested before they left. Either way, there's going to be a strain on your relationship. It could also be coming at you delivered from the outside just an extra strain or burden. Think of the burden of the pack, like carrying too much weight, doing too much, one or both of you working too hard, doing too much for others, even entertaining too much what other people say or think. Either way, there could be some outside energy really threatening to harm the relationship that the two of you have. Um, seeing, making you question and wonder, um, is this going to work? Especially if you start to see parts of your partner or you start to reveal parts of yourself that make your partner, um, feel unloved or distant from you somehow. This could be an emotional distance as well. Either way, there is a wonderful feeling of you will make it through and your love will endure and how you can do that um those answers actually might come in in the in the in the extended so i do hope to see you guys over there aquarius uh let's go on to pisces pisces love and romance for this week pisces energy um energy for pisces be bold and make the first move cardinal moon channel your cardinal bro brothers and sisters cancerians that's what you got to do you don't need to move directly straight on but definitely open yourself up to being the one that makes the first move being the one that shows very very openly and boldly what what you really like and that you're very interested you also what this card also tells me is there's there's confidence coming from you you will also feel very very safe opening up and showing what you feel so this is an implica implication pisces that you will be feeling very very good about yourself this week which is awesome there's an energy uh pisces of um who of um hold on having made the decision um 
to take a leap of faith in terms of your career goals or in terms of your travel and deciding to go somewhere and that that will lead to your coming together with somebody who is like-minded, shares the same goals, shares the same aspirations. Either way, when you decide to be bold and make the first move, whatever walk of your life you decide to be bold and make the first move in, it is going to generate that ripple effect in your romantic life and lead you closer to that partner that you really belong to or really belong with. This is also a saying you could be thinking of moving in with somebody. You could, you, the two of you might be taking your relationship to the next level, making a decision finally, maybe after a lot of deliberation to move in together, to make it official, to come out and say, but we are together. We do feel this for each other. This could be the energy coming toward you as well. Um, in terms of somebody making the move towards you and officiating what they feel about you. Either way, there is a bold outward announcement of love or your, your interest in love coming into your life this week. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. This is definitely your energy. Um, if you're curious about who is coming towards you, like descriptions of that person and their mindset, that is in the description box. That is in the extended video, Pisces, and that link is below. So this is definitely Piscean or water energy. Somebody who dreams or sort of psychically starts to manifest in their psyche, dreams it, has known what they've been looking for their whole lives, and now it's starting to come out and be real. It's also maybe hearing from somebody from a distance and closing that space between the two of you. And it's also uh, an energy of maybe just maybe your dreams are coming true and you're meeting that person that you sort of wished into life or wished into being. There is an energy that all of this is happening just beneath the surface that you can see the sunlight above and it's about to come through. An energy of somebody who is watching somebody else, somebody who is admiring and hoping and contemplating what should I do so there's an energy either from you or them knowing that you want to make this move knowing that you have an interest but waiting waiting for somebody waiting for the right time waiting for the person maybe to show you this is definitely saying this would be the week to show them and not to be afraid and I said that to Scorpio too I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces but there's definitely this energy of, listen, you don't have to come out and say, I want you, please marry me, <laughs> especially if you're just meeting this person. But you do, but, but let them see that you're interested. Let them see that, um, let them see that there's somebody special to you. Stare a little bit too long, smile a little bit too big, laugh a little too loud. Let them know that you get, that, that they have your, like, let them know that you have, that they have your attention they already do have your attention, so just don't hide it. Um, yeah, so just don't hide it. Um, that's all you have to do. <clears throat> who is coming towards you? Who, who, who? That link is below. This is also, I have, to, I have to give this message, this message of don't doubt when somebody comes towards you and somebody shows you how special you are. Follow your intuition. Believe it. Whether or not, believe it either way. Are they interested? Are they not? You'll know it intuitive, intuitively right away. So don't talk yourself out of it, Pisces. Believe your intuition. If you feel it, it's real. You can believe in it. And you don't have to be embarrassed for smiling too, too, smiling too big or laughing too loud. If you feel that they're not interested in you, and honestly with this energy, I don't think that's what's going to happen, but you'll know it as well. Don't be afraid. Don't talk yourself out of your intuition and emotions because they're going to lead you in the right direction. That's why we have the water card. 
the water, your emotions will help to tell you. There's an energy of somebody who's been admiring you from afar, and maybe you haven't noticed it, or you've been admiring somebody else, whether it was somebody on television, or somebody on the internet, or through their social media profiles. This is an energy of having a long time looked and admired. Now the moment is here, now the time is right for the truth to come out, or this dream to become a reality. Ooh, all right. Pisces, okay. Uh, we're moving on to Aries now. Aries, 29, 28. Let's get into your energy. Aries, whoo. Oh my God. Your energy is your energy. So a fiery climax approaches butting heads or taking a bold stand or just aggressively going after what you want. This could be extremely sensual energy, extremely physical, maybe even erotic energy of just masculine intent going after what you want. This could be just going after casual encounters. This could be going after a person that you have admired or even a person that you just met. You are ready to be bold. You are ready to go for it. And all these zodiac signs are being told, go for it, go for it, go for it. So for me, I'm like, people are gonna fuck, oh, people are gonna find out this week that people are people are gonna find out that other people are interested because everybody's gonna be outward and telling each other that they that they that they are interested in each other, which is really good. This could be an extremely romantic <laughs> weekend all around, not having to work too hard to know that the other person's interested in you. Why? Because everybody's being pushed to take that bold step. Do it, do it, do it. But this is also the energy of maybe just maybe there's some sort of confrontation. There's some sort of conflict and a huge explosion remember this is warrior energy and it's also full moon energy in this card which suggests that something is finally popping off that whatever was building under the surface is finally exploding so i would not be surprised if you have a big old fight and a big old argument and just explode all over each other not attack hopefully not physically please um, if somebody attacks you physically, seriously, 911, don't even mess around with that. And I would hope that it isn't you attacking physically, but this is very physical and very energetic. So, um, accusations could fly, um, plates <laughs> and glasses could fly. This could get physical. So be prepared and watch out for that. And this, but it could, it, it's definitely going to get aggressive. So aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Think of that, Aries. It could be just you aggressively going after you, what you want. Somebody aggressively coming after you, not wanting to let you get away, um, which you'll, you'll love that energy. Or, or the two of you really butting heads and something coming to a huge, a huge um, explosion. Maybe not conclusion, but definitely explosion. Because remember, when you fight, you can make up real nice too. So that could be explosive as well. So it's sick. Aries, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. What this is telling me is this has been building for a while. Somebody has been watching. Maybe jealousy has been building. Maybe you've been getting irritated. Maybe you've been getting angry. Or somebody's been watching the other person's social media profile and getting um, getting ideas or things in their head or having messages, talk back and uh, forth. He said, she said, hearing something from some mutual friends. And finally, this is the huge explosion that happens between the two of you or finally it's somebody that comes out and admits I want you I want you I want you I'm not gonna let you go or I gotta take a chance with you but this has definitely been building it's an energy um that almost sort of builds itself in its own mind. So watch out for that because you could, and I think maybe Scorpio got a, a similar reading, you could be putting things together in your brain that are based on your emotions or your ideas instead of the full story. But with this energy behind you, it's gonna be very difficult for you to see the difference between the two. So just watch that. You will have a lot of confidence in yourself. This is an energy of believe who you are, believe in yourself and side with yourself. 
yourself. And with this energy right here, Aries, you're 100% all about you. You're going to have confidence. You're going to be bold. You're going to put your needs and yourself first. And you're going to come out right away and say what you want to say to that person and what you were thinking. You're not even going to think twice of, was I wrong? Or maybe I got it wrong. In other words, whatever you accuse, whatever, however you start off this conversation is going to be so bold and so direct that it could end up in an argument because you're you're definitely convinced of what you saw and what you you of what you saw and what you think is going on and right now Aries you're 100% all about you <laughs> so um I don't know if that other person has much of a chance with getting through to you right now. Uh, if you want to know how the other person is going to react or how they're thinking or feeling, please do join me for the extended. That link is below in the description box and we'll go into that energy. Okay, Aries, I'll see you over there. Now we have Aries, Taurus. The energy of Taurus, what is this? 3440. Amen. Taurus. Your energy in love and romance for this coming weekend, let's see, have faith in your dreams. Oh my God. Now this is one of the most romantic cards. So because it's a waxing crescent, this is kind of sleepy energy, dreamy energy, um, but it could also indicate that a relationship that you're in is starting to wane and, and, and you're being called away to something else starting to prioritize something else and starting to see that the relationship is coming to a close. It could also be believe in the person that you're attracted to that. Yes. In fact, they do like you too. They are interested in you too. There is a beautiful summertime romance energy to this summertime and the winter time, but there is definitely a romantic energy to this card that suggests you might get whisked away. You might get caught up in the moonlight. But remember, whatever starts during a retrograde may not last that long. So um, this could be a beautiful and romantic experience for you, Taurus. But how long it will last is not something that you should make a decision on right now. You shouldn't be picking out your wedding dress or your, your tuxedo or like don't go too far. In other words, this is such a beautiful la vie en rose energy. This is, this is a wonderful place for you to live in the moment, live right now, because it may not last very long, but it's going to be beautiful as it happens. And it's going to have faith in your dreams, teach you something you need to know to help you love yourself even more and help you be more sure about your path in life. There is something connected here to your dreams and your goals and your ideals in life. So this could be somebody you're meeting along the way or that's helping you through your life. There's an energy here, especially in long-term relationships, of having this person be your main support system. Um, maybe just maybe there's an energy of um, uh, them not being going to, they're not going to be able to support you for very much longer or, or fearing like, fearing like they're going to walk away from you because maybe you've been too needy. But that's not the case, especially for long term couples. I feel a really strong energy of support and love and what this is telling me is if you've been going through difficult times that's coming to an end that's going to be resolved and and those difficulties either between the two of you or coming from the outside of you and putting pressure on your relationship those difficulties are actually coming to an end so this is really a week of resolution for you coming to a peaceful conclusion and things things sort of evening out and, and, and balancing out. Um, rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break and have faith in your dreams. What did I say? This is sleepy time. I told you this, and this is the card that comes out. So this is telling me that you may actually be dreaming, like actual dreams of a person coming into your life. Um, and through those dreams, teaching yourself or realizing what is extremely important to you and or realizing the emotions that you were feeling, realizing them through your dreams so that you can understand them and articulate them in the waking world. Take a rest, take a break. 
Um, it could be going away together, just spending time by yourself, uh, by between just the two of you. Or this is an energy of, remember how I said there's this protective energy of somebody uh, that you're in a relationship with um, or considering for a relationship, demonstrating their love to you by being very protective, letting you slack off and, you know, take a little bit of weight off. You could be going through some hard times, Taurus, and it's this person and the way that they're supporting you and, you know, taking weight off your shoulders and helping you unconditionally, protecting you, wanting to defend you, especially toward others. There's a sense of you being first exhausted and not being able to pay much attention to them but when you come out of it this person is going to be like white knight material they're going to be you're going to i think that it's this energy of this person that's going to show you how valuable and how true they really can be and loyalty meaning so much to you that's going to go a long way taurus this is essentially oh that beautiful energy of potential and this low energy or this sleepy energy will not last long it could also be like you're just in a lost in a romantic phase right now and let yourself just indulge let yourself relax into it let yourself believe in it and let yourself experience it and absorb it so however long it lasts you've gotten the full effect of this really lovely and dreamy energy um who is this person that could be a white knight I'm not sure we're going to get that information and who is coming towards you. If you're curious, that is the extended link below Taurus. All right, let's go on to Gemini. Gemini, who is coming toward you? I mean, no, I'm sorry. What is coming towards you in terms of love and romance? Let's see. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus and that's a sign right next to you so this this could actually be energy that you're not extremely comfortable with like you have you you know what you want you just don't know how you're going to get it and so this could be time and it could be a little bit difficult uh for you because Mercury is still in retrograde this coming week but there is an energy of before you take a leap and before you push forward the way to push forward is through planning discernment, um, assessing the reality of the situation. So whatever you're thinking of or tempted to do, do not just jump right in. You need to move slower on this, or you're going to really feel if somebody comes at you, like they're being too aggressive and they need to move slower on this. Take your time before you even open your mouth to have a conversation with somebody why because things could be misconstrued things could be awkward um yeah you could be misinterpreted and boy you don't need any more of that bs in your life i don't need to tell you this is an energy of put one foot in front of the other make progress go ahead and and you know uh hit on that person or go ahead and have that conversation with your person but strategize it think it out think before you speak and when you decide to get into the action be sure that you are methodical about it and not rushed slower moving energy is going to be so much more stable here this is also an energy for you gemini of um sort of um um because taurus is ruled by venus it could be very well you um, being very enamored or being very impressed or somebody vice versa. Oh, all these energies could be flipped around being very, very impressed with you in terms of your looks. You see, this has a very pretty romantic energy to it. So attraction is here. It's just attraction is not the problem traction is <laughs> like, how do I get from point A to point B? Things could be slippery. Watch for those slippery slopes. Hmm. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. This is really beautiful energy. And so it kind of solves your problem for you, Gemini. Do more listening and less talking. That's going to go a long way for you. Let somebody make the first move toward you instead of you making the first move toward them. 
or if you make the first move, go very, very slowly and wait for those little bits and pieces of feedback. You're going to want to be methodical and take your time. This Taurus energy is, is, is very much a slower moving energy. And it's, it's asking you to see practicalities, not ideals. So, um, basically don't 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 let yourself get lost in the moonlight when moonlight is just an illusion <laughs> essentially um um oh my god i had a thought um so who is this person that's coming towards you that energy is always in the extended below we'll go into not only who they are but what they want and maybe even what they need if you are in a long-term relationship this is an energy of something that's been long time coming to you finally being returned to you or somebody that or it could very well be somebody that you have been interested in for a while having taken a lot of time to come around to talk to you or get up the nerve to talk to you or you've been like an opportunity an opportunity to be alone with this person or this person finally recognizing you is finally happening but it's it's slow it could be moving at a snail's pace so be very patient and just wait this is an energy of needing to see something tangible before you be, like don't believe a dream believe in something tangible, believe in something material, maybe even somebody giving you something, giving a gift, showing you a gift. Maybe they've worked a long time for something that was this important to them. A few of you, very few, but a few of you could be getting engaged over the next couple of weeks. Why? Because this is an energy of luxury and luxury items, expensive items, things that go bling. Um, and something that you would have to work hard for, something that you would have to plan, something that took preparation. So this could very well be prepping to ask somebody's hand in marriage or talk to somebody and tell them how much you feel about them. And ha but, but something that has been very prepared. A lot of times, like the metaphor of the engagement, um, you know, you, you plan on how you're going to ask somebody. <laughs> you, don't, you don't just sort of like let it, you kind of like plan it all out. That's the energy of you actually planning or somebody actually planning for you before they present the idea or their thoughts or the proposal to you. Um, so if you're curious about who this person is and where their mind's at this week, that is in the, in the extended. The link is below and I'll see you guys over there. All right, Gemini, we move on to cancer now. Cancer energy for these couple of weeks. Let's see what's coming towards you, Cancerians. We got a ridiculously beautiful romantic reading. Last week was off the freaking hook. Go check that out if you haven't checked it out. I really want you to. A romantic... <laughs> I mean, my heart almost stopped because the reading between last week and this week, this is kind of mind-blowing. A new romantic cycle begins, and this is new moon in Libra energy, so yes, options coming in receiving love coming in receiving receiving or if you're in a long-term relationship or even if you're not this is an equal love somebody who will e love you the way that you love them loving and equal think two of cups okay think two people who are ready to love each other a mature energy somebody who is your equal not somebody who is going to take this is going to be a give and take energy so please be like be prepared to give and take and give and receive and you will this is somebody who is coming towards you a new romantic cycle begins so if you're in a long-term relationship, this is essentially the two of you reestablishing that footing and balance that you may have lost for whatever reason, one reason or another. But this is a much more obvious message for people who are still single, Cancerians. Your energies are wide open over the next couple of weeks and even through this week that love is coming into your life. New options, new proposals, new, um, new, new options. Please get yourself out there. This is not a week to spend time alone because there are going to be offers. There are going, there's going to be that chemistry in the air. So Cancerians, this is not the time to get our winter suits on and become hibernators. This is our time to actually get ourselves out. It doesn't have to be to a bar or a club. If that's not your scene and if you're not a night person, then don't do it. But definitely get yourself out into public. Go walk your dog. Talk to people while you're 
you're walking your dog, you know, go to a library, you know, take your friend out to lunch. Like be sure that you are out and about and seen this week. Remember that Libra energy is definitely the energy of the seventh house and partnerships. That means matters so much. Oh my God, who is coming? Who is this person that might come towards you? Well, if you're in a relationship already, you already know it. And there's going to be a balancing out of your energies, which says resolution, forgiveness, compromise, and a beautiful, like lifting weight off of you kind of energy. Um, but if you're waiting and wanting to see, like, what are they feeling? Who are they? For those of you who are single, that link that's the description. Um, that link is in the description box below. That's the extended reading. And I do hope to see you over there. We're not done yet, Cancerians. Turn on your heart light. Reflect in a time when you experienced love. A, this card is telling me, believe in love again. C, this, uh, B, this card is telling me, you must be honest with your affections and your emotions. It is so natural for Cancerians to pretend that they're not feeling anything or to get out of balance by just worrying about what the other person is feeling. This is an energy of we want, once again, make this bolder step of show that you're interested. Show, turn on your heart light. You've lit a beacon light. It's shining for people to see. When you see them coming, don't go like this. Oh my God, do you think they saw me? Please don't do that. Stay wide open. Yes, see my heart. See it's open. See it's shining bright. Yes, this is the week my beacon light is lit for you to see. My beacon light is lit. So bring that love to me. Open up your heart space. It could be also be compassionate because Libra is a very compassionate side. Be willing to open, uh, be willing to listen. But you usually are, especially for people that you love. Remain open for new opportunities. Get, Like I said, get yourself out there. There is an energy of this is a week to open yourself up, not hide yourself away. You are going to experience the lovely deliciousness of the energy of new love and prospects surrounding you, coming right to you. If you allow yourself to have faith and trust and just let your heart take you there. Um, also remember, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I can't believe I lost it. Believe in love again. That's what I was going to say. There's an energy of nine. So it could tell me that a lot of you have spent a lot of time by your by yourself or that you have harbored some sort of bitterness or sadness a long time in yourself. And not only did that rot away at you, but it also told you to not love yourself. It also taught you those negative self, that negative self-talk. Uh, spirit is, is wanting you to get back into, like use your head to help your heart to open up by remembering those times when you were loved unconditionally. It doesn't have to be in love. It could be remembering your being with your children and feeling your heart grow 3,000 times. The point is, whatever memories help to open you up and believe in love again, get use them. Use them because spirit wants you open and ready for love this coming week. Um, let's see what's coming towards you or who's coming towards you. That link is below Cancerians. I can't wait to see you over there. Um, now we have Leo, Leo energy at 5,200 Leo. Oh, okay. Leo, you and your loved ones are safe. This is new moon in cancer. Okay. You're this is this is the energy of wanting to take care of somebody of a nurturing energy something that is protective something that is defensive it's almost your energy being protective and being defensive and being very very um particularly um invested in protecting and defending one particular person you could be dealing with a cancerian if you are dealing with a cancerian that will be confirmed over in the who is coming towards you that link is in the description box below um but this energy is definitely somebody, maybe there has been some sort of ambiguity between you and somebody else and all of those circumstances or situations finally being resolved. But this is definitely the energy of move slow, be gentle. And the best way to show you care is by being there and being protective. Make them feel 
safe, Leo. That's what's going to get through to this person. Even if you've been married for 25 years, there's an energy here of fear, a fear of things not being okay or not being ready to move on or move forward. Some sort of healing that has been stunted or or um, completely repressed to begin with. This energy that doesn't want to come out is hidden away because it doesn't feel safe. And Leo, you're that boldness. You're that I'm here to protect you. I'm here to guard you. Think of Mufasa roaring over that huge cliff. I'm here to serve as inspiration, but also actual protection from all of you that I'm looking at. This is an energy of go ahead and be bold and be protective and be nurturing. That will get you far this week, especially if you're looking for love or looking to improve your love with your loved one. It's this energy that they want from you. Um, once again, the energy also can be vice versa. So somebody could be helping you work through your family issues, helping you protect the people that you love, especially if you have children, you'll, you'll see about them that they're really impressive because of how amazing they are with kids and how wonderful they are with the family and how amazing they're doing in protecting and caring for other people. And there's just this energy of of pride, of feeling proud and knowing that your life is better and that your family is safer because this person is in your life. Wow, you have a lot of confidence in this human being or they have a lot of confidence in you, probably vice versa. Um, spiritual connection, this is a beautiful card. The energy of two plus seven, which is nine, something coming to a head. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. You're already connected to this person, Leo, and I've been getting this feeling of this person for quite some time. Once again, I don't know what sign they are. We'll, we'll extrapolate that information, excuse me, um, in the extended, but Leo, I can't, I can't say this enough. You are already connected to this person. This card also could imply that in the 3D world, you're at a distance from each other. So you actually have to, um, Skype each other, FaceTime each other, text each other, do a lot of video conferencing back and forth. You you feel connected, but there's a difference and you but there's a distance and you have to like, you know, you're just you it and it could also be that you're sending subliminal messages to each other. This is an energy. So more and more I'm thinking maybe this person is very psychic and maybe you are too. You already know. In other words, you already know that you the two of you are interested in each other. You already know that this person is important to you. They already know it too, but somehow it has not come out yet. It's being very slow moving. Remember, cancer is a cardinal sign. Absolutely. And cancerians can be extremely hardworking and determined, especially on their goals. But in terms of relationships, especially, we like to go, we like to like sidewind we like to move like the crab back and forth why because we like to feel all the details and we like to be sure of our footing we don't like to just move and run straight forward we need to go slower but this isn't so this is an energy of um yes i can almost confirm that there is love here uh, and yes you're feeling it already you're not just making it up in your head um but there is definitely this energy of needing protection and safety um this could also be uh somebody is at a distance from you because they have to take care of somebody that they love because somebody in their life or your life is ill and sick and so you've gone to help and take care of and this person is sort of your support system from a distance kind of energy so we will see we will see leo the extended link is below i'll see you there we move on to virgo at 57 12. Mm. I love this energy. Don't let your past hold you back. Ooh, Virgo, this is an energy of south node. So I always recommend when I see this card, go and check where your south node is. You can go on to many different um, sites to get this information. I always use astrologycafe.com. No, this is not a paid sponsorship. I'm just making a suggestion because for me, it's really easy to use and I always use them. Uh, you can get a free natal chart and find right there where your south node is. 
South node, where your south node is and the qualities of that zodiac sign will tell you all of the pitfalls, all of the things that kind of make you lazy and, and that you fall back to. And it's your comfort zone, but this is an energy of get out of your comfort zone. You don't want to be in your comfort zone. And also your comfort zone may be memories from the past or um, you know, things that you determined based on relationships that you had in the past or holding on to those past heartaches and hurts. Something that has to do with the past is a pitfall for you. It's falling back and it's holding you back and it's keeping you from those things that are in front of you. And in the future, there's a suggestion here. Don't let your past hold you back because you have a wonderful future to look forward to. Forgiveness, um, a reconciliation, um, talking it out. Hold on. I have to sneeze. Hold on. Oh, oh sorry about that. Um, talking it out, resolu uh, uh, resolution. Um, ooh, it could also mean that you were kind of stuck in a relationship or you have been stuck outside of a happy, healthy relationship for a long time because you are attached to somebody from the past. You haven't let go. There's something here of not letting go of a past partnership um, and that impeding your current partnership or your ability to find a current partnership that is fulfilling for you. There's still something that, that has hurt you very much or somehow maybe you're still harboring feelings for somebody that you used to be with that you can't be with for one reason or another. This is realizing it and understanding it and not only realizing it, like admitting it to yourself, but seeing how it's negatively impacting what you have right now, because what you have right now is something that you can move forward with if you weren't so attached to this older sentiment, Virgo. Um, have patience. You could find yourself also dreaming or fantasizing a lot about ex-lovers or past lovers. And, maybe, and I'm, like what I'm trying to tell you is use it as an indicator of what's going wrong and what's not satisfying in your relationship right now. Is it attention? Is it affection? Is it sensuality? Is it physicality? What is it? You can tell by those fantasies, whatever you're holding on to will tell you, oh, that partner and I used to do this. That's what I'm missing here. So use it to your advantage. You know, it's not, it's, it's, what is it said? Like life is 95, um, um, life is 5% what's given to us and 95% what we do with it type of thing that or something like that. So yeah, something is holding you back. Analyze those dreams, analyze your past, analyze, analyze like those feelings from the past and, and, and what about them shows you what's missing or is really that trigger for you. Have patience, love is patient and kind always. The star card, Aquarius energy, wishing on a star, having it come true. Something is in the works. Um, have patience. Be patient. It could be your partner that needs your understanding. Something is holding them back. A past relationship. Like I said, you could always swap these you could always swap these messages, right? So something in their past is holding them back. And this is a good indicator that something that something that happened in their past relationship affected or influenced how they feel moving forward. And that could be negatively impacting your relationship. But if you're patient and you are willing to talk about it and see that this could be a stepping stone for you, that kind of energy is going to heal. This is a very Aquarian energy, have the higher perspective, right? Like take that aerial view in a very Aquarian way, remain objective, and then see what's best for the circumstance and the situation instead of taking things personally. That's going to really help you this coming week, Virgo. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I can't confirm. Check your south node. You could be, um, yeah, just check your south node. Make sure you get that info. Um, and I hope to see you over on the extended because who is coming towards you and what they're going through could be some vital information for you this week. So I will see you over there, Virgo. Um, and Libra. Libra energy. Okay. One, two, three. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nothing will come of this situation void, of course. Oh, God. 
okay? Don't freak out. Don't. There is an energy here of something ending, something coming to an end. That could be it. That could be your singleness, right? So void, of course, just means this is a weakening. It's not a stop. If you know anything about the moon, void, of course, is when the moon is in between. It's not really in one sign or the other anymore. It's like cross crossing over that line. And I think it lasts for about a three or four hour period. Um, as the moon transitions, the moon transitions into a new zodiac sign every 2.5 days so that by the end of each month, it's traveled through the whole zodiac. You're getting a little bit of an insight as to why Cancerians are so moody and so hard to peg down because their ruling planet is entering new energies every 2.5 days. I'm doing a whole video about that. We'll get into that later. But this void of course period is when the moon is not strong. It's when the moon is weak and it doesn't really know itself very well. So you could be experiencing, because it's not settled in one side or the other anymore. It's leaving one, it's going, it's, it's almost like its own shadow period type of energy, right? Um, so just for your own, own awareness, this is basically this coming week, this coming energy, First of all, anybody you meet this week, it, it's going to be at the very least be very ambiguous for a while. You're really not going to know what's happening. So don't try to make any assumptions. Don't try to project anything. Just remain objective and let it be what it is and remain observant and just no expectations. Also, be expecting of yourself to be insecure, a little bit uh, kind of wobbly and, and or that you're dealing with some sort of insecurity or your partner's insecurities of being a little bit wobbly and a little bit insecure or not knowing what your partner feels and them not being able to articulate it with you uh, to you. So it could be a very frustrating time in terms of love and romance, especially if you're already in a partnership. If you're not in a partnership, Libra, there's definitely an energy of if you meet anybody, it's not going to last long term. Like nothing made during a void of course really lasts very long because it's not stable. It doesn't know itself. And sometimes it can project the wrong energies outward. So you're not really sure who you're dealing with. It's not that anybody's trying to be shady. It's that there's just this energy of insecurity and instability, maybe emotional instability that's coming for you or happening to you or happening in front of you to your partner or an interested party this week. So just be very, very aware of that energy. Know that it's here and know that it will pass. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Okay, so this is definitely, um, uh, this is definitely the energy of maybe doubting yourself um, doubting the choice that you made to leave somebody or move away from somebody or choose one person over the other, getting a really melancholy feeling and feeling the backlash and the whipping of that mercury retrograde as it goes into its shadow period, this energy of, um, ugh, this energy of not feeling certain and idealizing the past and thinking that, oh, the past is better than what's in front of me, which is not really the case, is it? But sometimes it feels safer. And that's why we think about going to back to the past. This could also be somebody from your past is coming back to you or wanting to come back to you, making offers, finding their way back to you. Libra, humor it. Don't take it seriously and definitely don't take them to bed. There is an energy of do not get into serious here because it's just a melancholy state that is passing through and you'll have to know that. This is also the energy of maybe waking up and realizing that the course that you chose was a bad choice. You, you made a bad decision and you want to get back to or go, go, go back to the place that you were before. You're tempted to turn back. I don't feel like you really should turn back, but you're the one energy that I'm actually going to pull some clarifier cards right here for Libra. Because I want to know, should Libra turn back? Um, what is this energy? Should they turn back? Should Libra turn back? Should Libra um, should Libra go back? Should Libra go back? There's a little bit of delusion here, contemplation, not knowing which direction, not really being impressed yeah, with the options that you have. Um, you may actually have to turn back. 
Uh, there's an energy of three here, like a divine intervention happening so that you don't make a move or, um, or that maybe you're, you're, um, like, hold on. This like spirit is sort of blocking you from turning around and going back. But here's the energy of the chariot and the lovers progress in love that has become kind of delusional and you've lost your way and all of a sudden it's falling apart. There's an energy here of maybe you've rushed too far into a relationship. Maybe you idealized it too much or let it go too far too fast or made promises beyond your ability to keep them. And there's definitely energy of everything falling apart. The momentum you had is suddenly breaking up. Now, who are you dealing with and what are they thinking? That Libra, that energy is in the link below. I'll see you guys over in the extended. Thank you so much for hanging with me for a little over an hour. Um, I can't wait to see you guys and continue this conversation over in the extended. Um, and like I said, please be on the lookout for that full moon reading. It will probably happen on Friday or Saturday of this coming week. It'll be a live YouTube reading. I go through all zodiac signs and have a little chats, get into the chats with you guys. Um, I like to, I like to um, touch base every twice a month during the moon phases, um, during the, the 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 full moon and the new moon uh, with my YouTube fam, and um, and and sort of celebrate each other. So uh, yeah, please be on the lookout for that, and I'll firm up the time as we get closer to it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the extended. Happy week.